Welcome to NSG 411, Study Session 8, Application of Management to Nursing Practice. Introduction. In this study session, we will consider the roles of a nurse manager in the management of nursing units and highlight those responsibilities to be fulfilled by a nurse manager. Learning Outcomes. When you have studied this session, you should be able to Highlight the roles of a nurse manager. The role of the nurse manager in the management of nursing units. Nurse managers can greatly influence the success of healthcare organizations because of their management role, especially at the unit level. During the past two decades, the nurse manager role has rapidly evolved into a position with greater authority and responsibility. The role of the nurse manager is critical in the provision of effective and high-quality care in any patient care delivery setting. This individual is actually the chief executive officer, CEO of that clinical area. She or he is accountable and responsible for patient safety and quality. This includes all of the nurse sensitive indicators recognized by regulatory and accrediting bodies, patient satisfaction, and financial performance. In addition, the nurse manager represents the direct caregiver voice at nursing leadership decision making tables. This person has to advocate up to management for nurses and other staff, but also interpret and manage organizational decisions that come down to the unit because nurse managers have such an immediate impact and such a far reach they can influence everything from doctor satisfaction and patient's length of stay to staff nurse turnover. As the demands of the job grow, many hospital leaders are making a subtle yet important change in the nurse manager status by elevating the job title to director. With everything that is expected of nurse managers in this role, many hospitals are dedicating many resources to help them succeed, going well beyond traditional manager orientation. Some organizations provide special on-site training. Some send nurses to programs offered by universities or professional groups and some link nurses with mentors and support groups. This effort emphasizes the complex role of the nurse manager and the importance of organizations developing strong leaders for middle management. Another way that organizations are developing managers includes using fellowships and institutes to further develop the knowledge, skills, and abilities essential for nurse managers Sussex. This provides networking opportunities and often foster working in teams on capstone projects in order to develop not only essential skill sets but confidence in project management. Socialization and emotional intelligence development are also a focus of these groups and aim at providing novice managers negotiation and cultural awareness skills. In particular, nurse managers hold a pivotal role in linking the vision of the administration to actual clinical practice at the bedside. The nurse manager role is currently seen as one of the hardest, most complex roles in healthcare. The nurse manager is responsible for translating strategic goals and objectives formulate at the operational level into practice. Thus, the position of nurse manager requires an ability to interpret general concepts and integrate them into specific clinical and management performance while simultaneously determining and monitoring outcomes. This nurse manager role is important because it is the direct link between the administrative mission and vision and the direct care provider. In addition, the nurse manager role 
provides not only administrative and clinical leadership, but also has 24-hour accountability for all patient care activities on the unit. The role of the nurse manager in the acute care nursing areas is pivotal in the development and retention of staff, as well as overall unit productivity. In total, the nurse manager has the responsibility to assure that the mission of the organization is translated into everyday practice, while assuring the quality and efficiency of the daily operations of their unit. Remarkably, the nurse manager role has become increasingly complex due to the shifting environment of healthcare delivery, largely due to the evolution of care that has occurred at the nursing unit level. Tremendous transformation over the past decade includes management of increased complexity in clinical nursing practice, shorter hospitalizations for more acute ill patients, and pressures from compliance and regulatory agencies, changes in healthcare economics, advances in technology, and structural operations in delivery systems have caused organizational transformation in healthcare institutions impacting nurse managers. Nurse managers are instrumental in role modeling and setting expectations for staff nurses regarding the importance of high quality, transparent and patient-focused care. Additionally, they are the conduit of communication between upper management and the bedside staff, providing key messages and setting the culture for their unit and organization. The importance of this role cannot be underestimated in successful healthcare organizations today. Categories of evolving role of the nurse manager include management of clinical nursing practice and patient care delivery, management of human, fiscal, and other resources, development of personnel, compliance with regulatory and professional standards, strategic planning, and fostering interdisciplinary collaborative relationships within a unit or areas of responsibility and the institution as a whole. Further breakdown of the management of clinical excellence includes maintaining a safe, caring environment for patients, developing methods to assess patients' and families' response to nursing care, validating consistent medical regimes, and evaluating the effectiveness of the unit-based clinical programs. Managing resources was further defined as ensuring the effective and appropriate utilization of human and fiscal resources. Human resource development includes participation in the development and support of multi-skilled workers utilized in delivering patient care. Standard compliance includes accountability for local, state, and national professional organizations, regulatory agencies, and governments. The nurse manager role and strategic planning include translating the unit strategic plan to staff, ensuring support of the plan, and modifying the plan in response to changing internal and external factors. At the unit level, the nurse manager plays a pivotal role in promoting collegial relationships based on mutual respect and support. These collaborative relationships focus on patient care issues at the unit level. Nurse manager role. Nurse managers are accountable to upper level administration for implementation of the philosophy, goals, and standards of the hospital organization at the unit level. These pivotal individuals are responsible for overseeing units of people handling the daily operations of a unit or service line. These nurse administrators may be assigned titles such as nurse manager, clinical coordinator, 
nursing supervisor or patient care director. They serve as the conduit between nurses and executive management, representing and advocating for their staff. Other responsibilities vary depending on the size and function of the organization. They may or may not be accountable to a nurse administrator at the organizational level. Nurse managers advocate for and allocate available resources to promote efficient, effective, safe, and compassionate nursing care based on current standards of practice. They promote shared decision making and professional autonomy by providing input their own and that of their staff into executive level decisions and by keeping staff informed of executive level activities and vice versa. Other responsibilities vary depending on the size and function of the organization. Nurse managers also coordinate activities between defined areas of the organization and provide clinical and administrative leadership and expertise. They facilitate an atmosphere of interactive management and the development of collegial relationships among nursing personnel and others. They serve as a link between nursing personnel and other healthcare disciplines and workers throughout the organization and within the healthcare community. Nurse managers have major responsibility for the implementation of the vision, mission, philosophy, core values, evidence-based practice, standards of the organization, and nursing services within their defined areas of responsibility. Nurse managers have major responsibility for the implementation of the vision, mission, philosophy, core values, evidence-based practice, standards of the organization, and nursing services within their defined areas of responsibility. Nurse managers are accountable for the environment in which clinical nursing is practiced. The nurse manager must create a learning environment that is open and respectful and facilitates the sharing of expertise to promote quality care. The ability of nurse managers to enhance the practice environment is critical to the recruitment and retention of registered nurses with diverse backgrounds and appropriate education and experience. Nurse managers contribute to the strategic planning process day-to-day -day operations, standards of care, and attainment of goals of the organization. Nurse managers collaborate with the nurse executive and others in organizational planning, innovation, and evaluation. The scope and standards from the ANA 2009 for nurse administration states that to fulfill the responsibilities the nurse manager, in collaboration with nursing personnel and members of other disciplines, performs the following. A. Ensure that care is delivered with respect for individuals' rights and preferences. B. Participate in nursing organizational policy formulation and decision-making involving staff. C. Accept organizational accountability for services provided to recipients. D. Evaluate the quality and appropriateness of health care. E. Coordinate nursing care with other health care disciplines and assist in integrating services across the continuum of health care. F. Participate in the recruitment, selection, and retention of personnel including staff representative of the population diversity. Assess the impact of and plan strategies to address such issues as ethnic, cultural, and diversity changes in the population, political 
and social influences, financial and economic issues, the aging of society and demographic trends, ethical issues related to health care, assume responsibility for staffing and scheduling personnel, assignments reflect appropriate utilization of personnel, considering scope of practice, competencies, patients, clinic, residence needs, and complexity of care. Ensure appropriate orientation, education, credentialing, and continuing professional development for personnel. Provide guidance for and supervision of personnel accountable to the nurse manager. Evaluate performance of personnel. Develop, implement, monitor, and be accountable for the budget for the defined areas of responsibility. Ensure evidence-based practice by participating in and involving the nursing staff in evaluative research activities. Provide or facilitate educational experiences for nursing and other students. Ensure shared accountability for professional practice. Advocate for a work environment that minimizes work-related illness and injury. Organizations may refer to nurse administrators at the manager level by other titles, such as district supervisor, head nurse, department head, shift manager, clinical coordinator, project manager, or division officer. Models of care delivery. Functional nursing, team nursing, total client care, and primary nursing are models of care delivery that developed in an attempt to balance the needs of the client with the availability and skills of nurses. Both delegation and communication skills are essential to successfully follow through with any given model of care delivery. Functional nursing. Functional nursing or tax nursing evolved during the mid-1940s due to the loss of RMs who left home to serve in the armed forces during the Second World War. Prior to the war, RMs comprised the majority of hospital staffing. Because of the lack of nurses to provide care at home, hospitals used more LPNs or licensed vocational nurses and UAP to care for clients. When implementing functional nursing, the focus is on the tax and not necessarily holistic client care. The needs of the clients are categorized by task and then the tasks are assigned to the best person for the job. This method takes into consideration the skill sets and licensure scope of practice of each caregiver. For example, the RN would perform and document all assessments and administer all IV medications. The LPN or LVN would administer treatment and perform dressing changes. UAP would be responsible for meeting hygiene needs of clients, obtaining and recording vital signs, and assisting in feeding clients. This method is efficient and effective. However, when implemented, continuity in client care is lost. Many times, re-evaluation of client status and follow-up do not occur, and a breakdown in communication among staff occurs. Team nursing. Team nursing grew out of functional nursing. Nursing units often resort to this model when appropriate staffing is unavailable. A group of nursing personnel or a team provides care for a cluster of clients. The manner in which clients are divided varies and depends on several issues. The layout of the unit 
the types of clients on the unit, and the number of clients on the unit. The organization of the team is based on the number of available staff and the skill mixed within the group. An RN assumes the role of the team leader. The team may consist of another RN, an LPN, and UAP. The team leader directs and supervises the team, which provides client care. The team knows the condition and needs of all the clients on the team. The team leader acts as a liaison between the client and the healthcare provider or physician. Responsibilities include formulating a client plan of care, transcribing and communicating orders and treatment changes to team members, and solving problems of clients and or team members. The nurse manager confers with the team leaders, supervises the client care teams, and, in some institutions, conducts rounds with the health care providers. For this method to be effective, the team leader needs strong delegation and communication skills. Communication among team members and the nurse manager avoids duplication of effort and decreases competition for control of assignments that may not be equal based on client equity and the skill set of team members. Total Client Care During the 1920s, Total Client Care was the original model of nursing care delivery. Much nursing was in the form of private duty nursing, in which nurses cared for clients in homes and in hospitals. Schools of nursing located in hospitals provided students who staffed the nursing unit and delivered care under the watchful eyes of nursing supervisors and directors. In this model, one RN assumes the responsibility of caring for one client. This includes acting as a direct liaison among the client, family, healthcare provider, and other members of the healthcare team. Today, this model is seen in high equity areas such as critical care units, post-anesthesia recovery units, and in labor and delivery units. This model requires RNs to engage in non-nursing tasks that might be assumed by individuals without the educational level of an RN. Primary nursing. In the 1960s, nursing care delivery models started to move away from team nursing and place the RN in the role of giving direct client care. The central principle of this model is to distribute nursing decision making to the nurses caring for the client. As the primary nurse, the RN revises, implements, and is responsible for the nursing care of the client during the time the client remains on the nursing unit. The primary nurse along with associate nurses gives direct care to the client. In its ideal form, primary nursing requires an all RN staff. Although this model provides continuity of care and nursing accountability, staffing is difficult and expensive. Some view it as ineffective as many tasks that consume the time of the RN will be carried out by other personnel. Study session summary. In this study session, we consider the roles of a nurse manager in the management of nursing units and highlighted those responsibilities to be fulfilled by a nurse manager. End of study session eight. Thank you for viewing. <laughs>